1977, humanity launched a message in a bottle into the stars. With no guarantee if our message would find anyone, or if it could be interpreted by any civilization it found, we sent a collection of images, sounds, and information about our precious blue planet. This Noah's Ark of mankind's culture could be our first message to an alien civilization, and may even outlive our species altogether. The two Voyager probes are currently travelling through interstellar space and are the furthest man-made objects from the Earth. Before their launch in 1977, a NASA committee chaired by famed American astronomer Carl Sagan selected a series of images and sounds to go onto the Golden Records. These are effectively a time capsule. The Voyager 1 probe is on its way towards the constellation Ophiuchus, and its next big milestone will see it get as close to 1.6 light years to the star Gliese 445, before carrying on further into interstellar space. The record itself is 12 inches in diameter and is made of gold plated copper. The record cover is aluminium, and electroplated upon it is an ultra pure sample the isotope uranium-238, which has a half-life of 4.468 billion years to help the record survive its long journey across the stars. The images electronically housed on the record are encoded in analog form and have a wide array of imaging related to the human race. There are images similar to the engravings on the cover, showing binary notation and physical unit definitions. There are several images relating to our solar system, the distance between our sun, and some images of the various planets that previous spacecrafts have taken. Images show human DNA structure, cell division, and human anatomy. Human conception is shown, along with our reproductive organs, and various stages of growth and development. The images of humans show a range of all people of the planet across numerous countries and societies. Many images try to suggest how humans operate to a potential watcher, with focus being drawn to how we eat and drink, or how we use our eyes to see. There is a diagram of Earth and its continental shifts over the millenniums. The last one shows what we think Earth will look like 10 million years from now. The very final image is of Beethoven's String Quartet No. 13, which is also one of the music tracks included. Sagan and the team were very conscious not to include any images of war or of any religion, the latter to try and be as inclusive as possible with the limited amount of space on records, and the choice to refrain from any war iconography was to avoid humanity coming across as aggressive. There are also many noises to demonstrate a broad range of activities on Earth. Various animals were recorded. Vehicles. Weather effects. And human activities as well. One of the most interesting things included in the records are the brainwaves of a woman in love. Anne Druyan, who would later become Carl Sagan's wife, recorded her brain patterns just days after her and Sagan got engaged. The hope is that if this record ever found a spacefaring civilization, they might have the technology to read these brainwaves and to understand the human interpretation of love. On the cover, several signs have been engraved in the hopes a potential recipient would be able to decipher how to play the record. The first image in the top left shows how to play the record. It shows how a stylus would need to be placed on the record to play it, and the Voyager probe contains one attached to them. The binary code seen around the diagram defines the proper speed to turn the record, while beneath 
the elevation that the stylist would need to be in the correct place to play the record. The stylus itself is attached to the Voyager probes. Here, the diagrams try to explain how to view the video portion of the recordings. This shows the general appearance of the waveforms of the record, and the binary code here shows the time of the scan is 8 milliseconds. This engraving shows the image frame and the direction of scan. The binary code also shows the time needed for each scan sweep. The image here is to show that if the record is properly decoded, the very first image which will appear will be a circle. This diagram tries to show the location of our sun, using 14 pulses of known direction from our sun. There is binary code defining the frequency of each pulse. This final diagram illustrates the two lowest states of the hydrogen atom, with the vertical line with the dots indicating the spin moments of the proton and electron. The reason this is added is because the transition time from one state to the other provides the fundamental clock reference used in all the diagrams on this cover and the decoded pictures. Solve this riddle and hopefully the recipient of the golden records will be able to decode it all. This message in a bottle may never find a destination. Perhaps life on our little blue planet won't exist by the time it does. But come what may, the Voyager Golden Records at least will be our last epitaph to the universe. A final piece whispering into the void. We are here.